We begin CBS 6 News this morning with breaking news out of Caroline County. It's making national headlines. Police are still searching for a hot air balloon that crashed last night. The pilot and two passengers on board still missing. It all happened here at Meadow Event Park shortly before 8 o'clock during the Mid-Atlantic Balloon Festival. Good morning, I'm Antoinette Essa. And good morning, I'm Greg McQuaid at Meadow Event Park in Doswell, Virginia, where this family fun filled event, the Mid-Atlantic Balloon Festival, quickly turned tragic, as you just heard Antoinette say. At about 8 o'clock last night, three balloons took off here. They were heading for a destination in Ruther Glen, about two miles north of here. As they were descending, one of those balloons reportedly hit some power lines and went up in flames. You see some videos and images that we've captured last night. Some of our CBS 6 crews and viewers captured these images and videos. People on the ground were horrified. They said they saw debris fall from the burning balloon. The gondola went up in flames. Apparently, there were some power outages in Ruther Glen by one of the witnesses. And then search crews, they looked all night long for the gondola and also the three people on board, two passengers and one pilot who tried to gain control of this balloon before it came crashing and burning. With me now is my colleague, Jarita Patterson, who has been following this side of the story and the search for the two passengers and that pilot of the balloon. Certainly a tragic event Very here at so. Meadow Event Park. What can you tell us on the search for the uh, victims? At this time, it's unclear even if this is a rescue or a recovery effort. So there's a lot of uncertainty, but what we do know is the fact that the search efforts, they continue a collaborative effort from the NTSB, the FAA, uh, Virginia State Police, even, of course, uh, searchers from Henrico County, as well as right here in Caroline County. And of course, all this happening yesterday around 8 o'clock. So we're now going into the 10th hour of these uh, the massive search efforts. Just yesterday, soon after all of this happened, there was a press conference in which Corinne Geller with the Virginia State Police, she gave us a briefing, sort of an insight into what happened and as that hot air balloon tried to make its way down. Once you take a listen to a portion of that press conference, here it is. As it was making its approach is when it came in contact with the power line and then due to the fire that unfortunately caused the balloon to lift very quickly. Um, and then of course the second explosion caused the gondola and the balloon to separate and then the balloon took off at a very rapid rate. Now, of course, yesterday during the search efforts, there were several hurdles that they had to overcome, including where that balloon went down is in a rural area, as well as, of course, the darkness from overnight. But what I can tell you is later this morning, so in less than two hours time, another press conference. It is set to take place at eight o'clock, at which time Virginia State Police, they are expected to brief us more on where the investigation stands, as well as their search efforts. And you can bet as soon as we learn more information, we will pass that along both on air and online at WTVR.com, but tragedy indeed playing out here in Caroline County. It certainly is for the rescuers. I was speaking with some of our um, colleagues here at CBS 6 who were on scene last night. They said the woods were so dense where the fire wreckage was uh, found that it was off the GPS grid, so certainly something to uh, follow here all morning long. Jarita Patterson, thank you so much. Now, as we've been saying, we've been receiving a lot of video from our viewers, uh, pictures, video. This image right here was caught by Sean Robinson. He and some family members had gone to a field to watch the balloons for this inaugural Mid-Atlantic Balloon Fest. When they arrived, he says the balloons had already landed and the third one in the sky was on fire. It was a disturbing moment and, you know, it was, I'm sad I saw it and was hoping everyone would be all right, but you know, we just started expecting the, the worst once we saw it, and we started praying for, you know, those that were in it. Robinson said he saw that third balloon on fire, and he believes it hit those power lines, causing a power outage in his Ruther Glen neighborhood. He said it was a tragic scene to witness, and he was not the only person to witness the balloon on fire above his neighborhood. Our Chelsea Rarick spoke with a woman who was with her children at the time of the accident, and she says what she saw will haunt her forever. The Meadow Event Park is straight through the woods. Carrie Bradley was driving back from the grocery store Friday evening when she and her two children spotted this image. It was the most horrific thing I've ever 
witnessed. Her daughter snapped this photo of a hot air balloon on fire along Ruther Glen Road. It appeared that it was trying to land and there was another balloon in the way that was actually smoking as well, but it was already on the ground. State police tell CBS 6 the accident was first reported a little before 8 on Friday night. Police believe the balloon hit a power line after taking off at the Mid-Atlantic Balloon Festival. Bradley says she saw two people jump out of the basket. And you could hear them screaming, please, dear God, sweet Jesus, help us. We're, we're going to die. Oh, my God, please help us. Please help us. Bradley also heard an explosion. So it was kind of like a pop, but when that happened, the basket exploded and debris started falling to the ground. All are sights and sounds burned into Bradley and her children's minds. Can't even imagine what those people are going through to, you know, to go to this festival and be so excited about a good day and making memories with their family and then not coming home. A spokesperson for the Mid-Atlantic Balloon Festival tells us that the remainder of the event has been canceled. In Caroline County, Chelsea Rarick, CBS 6 News.